you were able to help us uh, in your own capacity, you know, uh, to deliver services to our uh, constituents. And um, salute to you, uh, Secretary. Kung ikaw ay kwalipikadong beneficiaryo ng four piece, dapat na gamitin yung tong pera na to pang bayad. It never, in our opinion, in our humble opinion, never said. 2023 pang 2023, we're treating it hopefully like a trade payable. Na pagka nakalibro siyang payable, like just like any other supplier, pwede mo gamitin yung current appropriation. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chairman, Madam Chair. Uh, good afternoon. And to our former colleague, uh, Boss Rex, uh, thank you for that wonderful uh, presentation and uh, we really appreciate that uh, one of, of our colleagues here is uh, already in the executive department and uh, you were able to help us uh, in your own capacity you know, uh, to deliver services to our uh, constituents. And um, salute to you, uh, Secretary. And uh, basically, ang tanong ko lang naman, Mr. Chair, no? uh, Sec, uh, a while ago, you were saying na, na, na I, lost, I was lost there, you know. Yung sa education grant, how much is uh, allotted for the education grant for our uh, poor peace beneficiaries? <clears throat> uh, it's by uh, it's by tier. It's by school year. A maximum of three children, uh, each one will... Uh, okay. 5,000. Uh, hindi po. Uh, pag daycare to elementary, they get 300 pesos. Yes, yes, pag correct. junior, 500. Junior high... 500 pag senior high 700 yes uh mr secretary I, I know that but how much is the total allotment that uh um the uh congress allotted for that uh, the total the total uh, miss madam chair uh it's lump sum Your yeah grants namin is not disaggregated based on education health or rice grants binibigay nyo sa amin ng buo and it's up to us to oh. sino nag-comply at sino hindi nag-comply and appropriate it properly. So in other words, uh, Mr. Secretary, uh, yung 15.5 deficit that we are talking about, uh, actual na po yan. Actual yan. Tapos, kayo na yung nagbabalanse. Ang ginawa namin, goes... Madam Chair, kinuha namin lahat ng compliance. Yes. Tapos we computed the compliance uh, amount. So it varies. It varies, pero ang actual uh -huh. amount as we speak na utang natin na retroactive for those na nabalik sa listahan is what I mentioned at around um, 6.5 billion. Yes, okay. The 16.5 billion. 6.5. Six, no, yeah, okay. But the deficit is 15.5. Correct. So the 15.5 uh, um, deficit goes to rice subsidy, education. Other grants. Yung other mga grants. Health grants. Yes. Uh, tapos uh, rice subsidy and yung edu health. Health, yes. education, and rice. Correct. And in other words, uh, uh, through your presentation, we were able to see yung pong uh, utilization mo ng 2023 that uh, 669 million were utilized 99%. Yung 100 plus billion. Yung natira na lang is 600... Um, seven, ang natira na lang, uh, Madam Chair Kong, uh, 769 million, but the total allocation for the program is at 93 billion. Uh, so meaning at 93 okay. billion, we were able to obligate 99% percent. of that. And for that, congratulations, uh, <laughs> sir. No? And uh, um, nakakalungkot that uh, this uh, budget that uh, we have allotted, no? unfortunately, was uh, I think it was cut or it was realigned. But uh, we will be talking about it later. But kasi I've been a mayor also of Santa Rosa. And I know where you're coming from. At 19 din ko, yung uh, CBM, CBMS natin that uh, we implemented during that time that we were mayor together, uh, talagang uh, it's an old records of those uh, who are uh, poor. no. And as a matter of fact, I, uh, kanina you were saying that 30% na para bang uh, uh, ex inclusion and exclusion. no. Uh, I believe the, uh, hindi siya masyado accurate kung we're talking about the 30% inclusion and exclusion because more of these are exclu inclusion. Oh, because yung exclusion, na, halos kakaunti na lang yung nagiging ano eh, uh, umaangat, uh, umaangat sa kanilang ano eh, di ba? But, but, but I think uh, the more proper way to, uh, kasi when I was uh, a part of the uh, uh, of the League of the Mayors when we uh, started this, you know, sa CBMS, I found out that um, there are more uh more uh, poor people that are uh, in the list. Oh. Kaya I think to uh, 30% of inclusion and exclusion, mas marami dito yung percentage ng inclusion. Am I correct, uh, Mr. Chairman? Uh, that's a rough estimate from PSA. Basically, what they're saying is 
maaring 30% ng current na populasyon natin na mahihirap, wala dyan. At meron ring malamang na 30% na maaring nasa loob. But ang qualification natin dun sa na-include na maaring hindi, humirap ang buhay after COVID, so yung dating hindi mahirap, naging mahirap. But bottom line, what I'm trying to drive at, uh, Madam Chair, Mr. Chair, uh, delikado na yung lumang listahan. Listahan ng three is very uh, ano, obsolete coming to its age. Siguro we can utilize it one more year, pero pigang-piga na ho yun. Um, it, so hopefully by next year, we use the CBM, a new CBMS, a and, newly ran CBMS. And most likely, uh, uh, with your guidance with all the different uh, mayors together with the DILG, we can somehow issue a circular again for the uh, LGUs to, uh, to update the CBMS. Can we do that, uh, Mr. Secretary? Uh, Madam Chair, uh, Mr. Chair, the good congressman is correct. Sabay ho kami naging mayor, so yeah. we know this very well. Um, may batas na ho and it's mandated already. Uh, the last Congress, your Congress, approved it. Uh, PSA, from my understanding, is sila na kasi maging lead agency in data gathering, in formulating the questionnaire, in executing it. Of course, with the help of the ILG. Um, Unfortunately. Yung pera, I believe, and I'm can only assume that from what I was told, is in the unprogrammed side. Wala siya talagang direct line item. And that's why PSA has been asking us to also uh, explain to our policymakers the danger of not releasing that unprogrammed of PSA in the soonest possible time. Yes, kasi Mr. Chairman, talaga magkakaroon to ng problem eh, because uh, uh, a lot of people were not included in the list. no, And uh, most likely, mas marami na ngayon Kasi na-practice na natin pagbigay ng, ng tupad, ng mga be bene beneficyo. And people are looking that they'll be included in the listahan 1 and 2. And and, uh, and 3 as well. But unfortunately, kung wala tayong CBMS na update, updated, magkakaroon talaga po tayo ng problem. Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Secretary, dito sa presentation mo, you have uh, I have noticed that the, you have consultative meeting with the DBM on January 29, 2024. What transpired with that meeting? Um, basically, nag worry ho kasi kami dito sa an, an, uh, wala, yung, na, yung kulang natin. Na un, unappropriated. 9 billion. nag worry ho kami dyan kasi mm -hmm. nagko-comply na lahat. In, a in, in one to two weeks right after Holy Week, tapos na yung compliance. And of course, our beneficiaries will start looking for their grants. Kasi yes. nabayaran na natin yung iba, last I mentioned. So a big chunk of this will start saying, oh, complied na kami. But ayun yung bayaran. And uh, between us, mahirap sabihin na hindi man namin alam paano ipapaliwanag. So okay, uh, Mr. Che Secretary, para ma for more clarity, you know, so this 9 billion that we are talking about, that you have a discussion with DBM, are exactly on education grant, on rice subsidy, and the health. Health. Yes. Health grant. Uh, no, no. no. Health, uh, grant. health grant. Correct. Health. So this is the totality of that 9 billion that is an appropriated right now. Iba pa yon. Yes, sir. Tama, tama. You, the two of you are correct. So, again, ano pong sinabi ng DBM? Uh, uh, I am uh, no expert in appropriations, but we were trying to contest na doon sa special provision, um, I, I'm sure you know this very well. Yes, na sir. We can, sir. Uh, na our contention was, uh, if I read it, uh, the one... 106 billion appropriated her herein for the Pantawid Pamilya shall be used to support poverty reduction and social development strategy of the national government. Provided that the four P's covered are eligible beneficiaries uh, under section blah blah blah, the said amount includes cash grants, rice subsidy, and the other grants thereof. The above mentioned beneficiaries are compliant. Uh, in our opinion, kasi, as long as compliant ka, and then beneficiary ka, you're covered by this, meaning we can use our contention, and we're probably not right, I'm sure we're not. The current appropriation, plano namin sana, gamitin for the previous payable. Kasi it made no distinction, in our opinion, the special provision made no distinction between uh, years. Diba? Parang sinabi niya, basta, ano ka, kung tatagalugin ko, kasi nandito yung mga ibang four-piece beneficiary, na kung ikaw ay kwalipikadong beneficiary ng four-piece, dapat na gamitin nyo tong pera na to pang bayad. It never, in our opinion, in our humble opinion, never said 
2023 pang 2023, we're treating it hopefully like a trade payable. Na pagka nakalibro siyang payable, like just like any other supplier, pwede mo gamitin yung current appropriations. But uh, we're still waiting officially for DBM, DBM's an written answer. Uh, they're also doing their due diligence on the matter. So yun ang naging ending namin. So in other words, Mr. Uh, Chairman, uh, Mr. Secretary, uh, uh, the requirements and the prerequisites that entails a on that program was satisfied yes. by the department. B by and the beneficiaries. By the beneficiaries and the department. Yes. Yes. Uh, with that, um, it was included as well in the National Expenditure Program. The budget of in the, yes, correct. In the NEP for correct. 2024, it was included? Both for 2023 and, and 2024. 2024. It was included? Yes. So in other words, it passed through the Congress. So we have seen the uh, appropriated amount that was uh, uh, written on the uh, NEP. So, um, what happened to the 9 billion that now you are asking if we were able to appropriate on our side about this 9 billion pesos that was uh, written on the NEP? It, okay, um, Mr. Chair, I can't uh, assume what happened. Uh, basta all we know is that when we submitted our NEP, our proposal, it was there. Yes. Because we have a rough estimate of, we're assuming that all 4.4 will comply. So when we submit it, buo po yon. Now, what happens inside Congress, we're not privy to it. So, yun ako, I, I'm afraid I cannot uh, jump into, I cannot hypothesize. But one thing I can say, in the national expenditure, when we submitted it, mas malaki pa nga. Uh, in our tier two, mas malaki pa yung And that's the reason why, Mr. Chairman, I want to be uh, uh, educated on this uh, issue because when the good secretary was here in the last uh, budget hearing, um, he never approached us on this uh, issue precisely because he assumed that the budget will be uh, will not be, be uh, will be uh, touched or be realigned. And as a matter of fact, ang pagkakasabi ng ating uh, good secretary, mas mapalaki pa nga yung budget. So I'm wondering what happened to that uh, budget that was uh, slashed out of the budget of the uh, Department of Social Welfare and Development. Mr. Chair, uh, maybe you are privy on this. So can you kindly give us an... Uh... <laughs> oh, we have to check muna kay Secrex. Kasi Secrex, yes. if you... In your presentation, ah. Uh, I just follow your presentation. Kasi yung proposed budget nyo nga is uh, supposedly for 20, fiscal year 2023, 119 billion, di ba? And it was last by 4 billion. Tama? Well, ang pinasok sa NEP is yeah, yeah, yeah. 115. Of course, uh, your yeah. proposed budget is 119, di ba? So it's almost uh, close, uh, close, close to 4 billion. Now, but in the GAA, it's only 102 billion. Okay. Tama? <laughs> Kaya right. nawala yung 9 billion. Ang nawala sa 2023 po is in the third column. Negative 13 Kaya, billion. Yeah, tama. Negative 13. Pero yung sa deficit, 2024, pero negative 6.5. Yeah, pero yung deficit na dito for 2023 is nine. only 9 billion. Correct. Correct, sir. May difference po talaga. Because, because of the listing. Uh, one, uh, the non-compliance of others. Diba? Okay. We maximize all the time. We always assume that they will submit. Pero some of them will not comply. So, lumiliit ko siya. But anyway, uh, just, just to... Uh, I'm not a member of the Committee on Appropriation and uh, maybe I am not... Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, nandito po yung Senior Vice Chair. But before... before Fair if I can add the... Yeah. Amy. The reason bakit merong gap between the def deficit, the pro the projected deficit, and the decrease, uh, the proposal, is because 95% lang ang, com ang compliance. May 5% ng populasyon, ng 4.4, hindi nakaka-comply. So, oh. hindi natin sila babayaran ng grant na yun, that particular grant. So, instead of 13, 9 lang talagang actual. Yes. Not yes. deficit. Yes, Mr. Kasi Chair. Kasi yun lang po yung talaga yung na-qualify. Yes, Mr. Okay. Chair. 